everybody, Sam Strains here. Welcome back to the railway and welcome back to another Thomas and Friends shunting session. Now today I'm going to be shunting with Oliver and Rosie. Those are going to be my uh, shunting engines for today. And there's loads and loads of work that's got to be done today. Loads of jobs for Oliver and Rosie to complete. So I'm going to show you what some of those are right now. So first of all, as you can see down in the corner of the room, Ari and Bert there are skulking around. And I think basically what it is, is they're desperate to scrap something. Uh, they've just got a bee in their bonnet today. They want to scrap something so we've got to find them something to scrap before they start on the engines so that's a, a big priority and as it so happens there is a wagon just outside Toy Town Station there that has been dumped and it's full of all sorts of nuts and bolts so if we can get that wagon to Arianbert then that should keep them busy for a little while. Now as you can see dotted around the layout there's a couple of shipments of fish fingers there which are waiting to be shipped to the pub. Uh, the pub is waiting for a big shipment of fish fingers but the pub has actually just finished unpacking bread from their side and as you can see there's a couple of empty bread wagons there waiting at the sidings so either Oliver or Rosie has got to head over to the pub and pick those up before we can deliver the fish fingers. Now also the big factory up towards Toy Town North is just about ready to export some goods but in order to do that they need wagons. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of wagon they just have to be open wagons of any kind and as you can see there's a few of those dotted around on the layout here. Uh, yes yeah, quite a few different ones actually so again either Oliver or Rosie are going to collect those wagons together and then they're going to drop them off for for, uh, I think Donald and Douglas are going to be doing this. So they're going to drop all those wagons off near the turntable for Donald and Douglas to pick up and then they will take those to the factory. And then finally Henry there just behind Donald and Douglas, he's getting ready to make a huge delivery to a different railway. Uh, I don't know which one exactly but it's somewhere outside Sodor anyway. And he's going to be taking all of the different box vans including the uh, the bread vans that the factory have finished with. But as you can see there's a few other box vans uh, lying around the place which uh, Henry is going to be taking. So we've got lots of work to do. The tender engines are going to stay put on the turntable for now and we've got to get Oliver and Rosie put to work. So what I think we'll do is, Oliver, if you want to get off towards Toy Town Station and pick up the wagon for Ari and Bert, uh, we can get that delivered pretty much straight away. And Rosie, if you want to head around to the pub and pick up the empty bread wagons, then we can get those out of the way uh, to make space for the delivery of fish fingers. So come on then, shunting engines, let's get going and I will catch up with you both in just a second. So there you have it, today's shunting engines heading off together towards Toy Town. Okay, well that's the pub, so this is where Rosie's got to stop. Uh, Oliver, we'll catch up with you in just a second. But uh, Rosie, just back up a bit so I can open up these points for you. There you go. Oh, Rosie, I think you're going to have to back up just a little bit more because you're still on the points there. There we go. Right, so let me open these up then for you and you can pick up those bread vans. There we go. Okay, steadily does it, Rosie. There we go, I think she's coupled to them. Hopefully she has. Okay Rosie, back yourself up then and take those down back to the main sidings. And it will catch up with you in just a second. But for now then, let's see where Oliver's got to. So here comes Oliver now, then up towards the wagon full of junk that Ari and Bert are going to scrap. Yep, that looks like a good steady coupling to me. Now hopefully Oliver's going to be strong enough to manage that wagon because as you can see it's absolutely full with junk. Uh, so Oliver, if you can, take that down to Ari and Bert and uh, we'll come and see how you're getting on in just a second. But let's catch up with Rosie and see if she's gotten back to the countryside yet. Right, well it looks like Rosie hasn't quite made it as far as the, uh, the country station but she has made it to these points and I'm here just in time to open them up for her. So go on Rosie, get a wiggle on, we want you to get there relatively soon and we'll see what other box vans are there for you to pick up. Alright then Rosie, so it looks like up at the country station there's a mixture of uh, open wagons and box vans which will need sorting but for now you can pick them all up if you like so I'll just open up these points so that you can go ahead and do that. There we go, hopefully without a derailment. Yep, it all looks good to me. There we go, slow yourself down a bit Rosie, don't want to crash into them. There we go. Okay, so we've got a rosy sandwich, there's even bread involved in this sandwich so that's pretty cool. Anyway Rosie, your crew is going to make sure that everything is present and correct and they're also going to make sure that everything's coupled safely because obviously there's quite a few wagons coupled to you now and while they do that we'll go and catch up with Oliver and help him get over onto the inside line to deliver the scrap to Ari and Bert. Yes. Here he comes now, just into shot, and blimey, this is definitely the heaviest wagon any engine has had to shunt on my layout before. And as you can see, he is wheel slipping a bit, but he's managing it. Okay, I'll just help Oliver get over these points then. I'll uh, open these express points again, and hopefully get him to push those 
well, push the uh, nuts and bolts and things forwards. There we go. Get him over there, shut the points, and we'll open up the points to the inside line, and then Oliver is going to dash over and uh, de deliver these to Arian Burt. Now, I say dash over because uh, you never want to stay close to Arian Burt for too long if you're a steam engine, because uh, uh, they do have a nasty knack for trying to scrap them or so, I'm told. Come on, Oliver. You can do it. Oh, maybe you can't. I think Oliver's going to need a bit of a run-up to do this. Oh, he's completely stuck now. Go on, Oliver. Take your run-up. Right, he's going a bit. He's going a bit further down the line so that he can uh, take a big run-up at this. Hopefully, we won't get a spillage. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, reset the points. Make sure they're all set properly, just in case there's an accident later on. And uh, go on then, Oliver. Give it your best shot, and we'll deliver these to Arian Burt. Okay then Oliver, you can drop those off just there, let me get you uncoupled. Okay, and you can back off then Oliver, see you later, and uh, Arian Burke can head over and pick up all that, all that precious scrap of theirs. Yep, there they go. Okay, well that should keep those happy for a little while, let's go and see how Rosie's doing then. Okay, well it looks like Rosie is ready for off, so when you're ready Rosie, take it away and we'll sort these wagons out for you so that you can get out of this sandwich. Okay, here we go then. Nice and gently, Rosie. We don't want to spill anything. All right, take it steady, uh, Rosie, over the points. Uh, definitely don't want to spill these uh, wagons now. Right, so Rosie is going to head into this siding here, where the two red wagons, wait till they come into shot, there they go. Those two red wagons at the end of her train will couple to these, and then those wagons are together. And then she can keep pushing backwards, which will leave the turntable open, uh, so that uh, probably Oliver actually can dash in and uh, grab those uh, fish finger uh, vans from one of the turntable roads. So that'll be good, but uh, for now we've just got to get Rosie to do this. So there we go, the wagons are coupled, and if she's steady enough, we might not get a derailment here, but uh, don't count on it. Oops, I think one of the uh, the bread wagons has derailed. Oh, what a pain that is. I'm going to blame you for that one, Rosie. <laughs> it's probably not fair to, but uh, okay, keep going back. And then we'll see if Oliver's in the area so that he can head on and grab those uh, fish fingers from the turntable. Okay, let's go and find him. Yep, Oliver's still backing up, as you can see, so we'll get him onto the middle line and then onto the inside line. And he can go on fish finger duty, so let me just open these points. That's that one, and that one there. And that should get him onto the middle line. Okay, Oliver, ready to go. Here he comes now then, we'll get him through these points. Let me just open them. There we go, there goes Oliver through those points, and now he's on the inside line where he needs to be, and I will back him up. There we go. And I'll just need to stop him there, because I can't remember if I've opened those points or left them shut. I think I left them shut. Yes, I had left those shut. Blimey, Oliver, it's a good job I stopped you there, otherwise we'd have wasted a lot of time messing around with that. Okay. Straight onto the turntable, Oliver, and I'll get you onto those fish fingers vans in no time at all. Okay, hop on then, Oliver. Be careful, you know what this turntable's like. Okay, fine. Turn it round a little bit. There we go. Pick up the vans. And then we've got to hope that Oliver and the vans will all fit onto the turntable together. Hopefully they will. Uh, I don't really know what we're going to do if they don't. I think Oliver's stuck. So let's try banging on the ground. Ah, uh, no, that's not going to work today. Right, I'll have to give him a nudge then and dash back to the controller to switch it off before he goes off the other end. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it's all on, isn't it? Right, let's turn it back then and uh, get Oliver back off the other end. There we go, perfect, and off he goes. Careful, Oliver, that's a lot of fish fingers. Right, Oliver, well, you might as well go and pick up the rest of the fish fingers and then we can finish that shipment, can't we? So uh, they're over there in the sidings, quite a way away, but uh, you can make the trip, can't you? Right, let me switch these points again. Uh, see you in a minute then, Oliver. In fact, shall we come with you? Yeah, we'll come with you and uh, see to this fish finger shipment. Well, there they are, Oliver. Can you see them? We've had to go past them, otherwise uh, you'd be coming at them from the wrong angle and we'd end up with a fish finger sandwich with Oliver in the middle. 
Right, I'll just open these points for Oliver then, and then we should have all five of the fish finger wagons together. All right, take it away, Oliver. Okay, there you have it. Five wagons full of fish fingers. It's all a bit confusing, really, isn't it? I, I didn't know fish had fingers in the first place, let alone that there were so many people in one pub that wanted to eat them. But, uh, yeah, that's not really our problem, is it, Oliver? So uh, you head off over to the pub then. You have got to cross some points, but I'll trust you with that because uh, Rosie has got some shunting to do now and I need to supervise that. So I'll see you in a little while, Oliver. Give me a phone call just before you get to the pub and I'll bring the camera and uh, film you arriving. But for now then, let's get back to Rosie. All right, say bye to Oliver, everybody. See you later, Oliver. Take care. Okay, Rosie, hope you've had a good rest. Time to get back to work then. So you can actually leave the wagons there for Donald and Douglas. Because if you remember, there's a factory over at Toy Town that is ready to make a big export and they just need as many open wagons as possible. So we can leave the open wagons there. But now we've got to deal with these box vans and get them all coupled together because at the moment, uh, Rosie's right in between them. So let's get her out of there. Come on then, Rosie, we'll do a little bit of shunting and uh, get the bread vans with the others. And that should be a little bit better. Well, this is definitely going to be fun, Rosie, but I think I've figured out a way for us to do this. So just get yourself beyond these points and I'll open them up and I'll show you what my idea is. OK, open up the express points. Let's bring Rosie back. There we go. Shut those again. And what she's going to do is take just the bread, va uh, just the bread vans. Uh, she's going to drop those there. Let's uncouple those. Very nicely done. OK. Reverse back. There we go. So now what she's going to do is she's going to run around them. So uh, let's open these points. Whoops. We can shut those. There we go. Shut the points at the far end and we should be ready to go. So reverse yourself up, Rosie, and we should be there. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Well, well done, Rosie. I'm proud of you for figuring that one out. OK, we can leave these somewhere then. I think that's all of the box vans that uh, old Henry over there is ready to take. So we'll take these somewhere a little bit more convenient. Leave those for Henry to collect. There we go. Back onto the outside line. And I suppose I'll just uh, I'll leave them on the first line. And uh, hopefully they won't get in the way too much. All right. There you go, Rosie. So take those and leave them somewhere convenient for uh, Henry. And we'll catch up with Oliver and see if he's managed to arrive at the pub yet. Yep, he's not too far off at all. OK, let's watch him make his delivery. There we go, Oliver. Very nearly there. Just stop the other side of those points and I'll get them open for you. OK, that looks good to me. Right, let me just throw open these points. OK, Oliver, just... Dump all those in the siding then, and then the landlord of the pub will have the fun job of unpacking all of those. There we go. Get yourself uncoupled then, Oliver. Well, I think that's it, Oliver. This pub has now got just about enough fish fingers to keep them in business for about 10 years, I reckon. Uh, but that's a good job well done. So, Oliver, you need to head off now. And I've just noticed in the sidings near where Ari and Bert were, there are some uh, open wagons which we're going to need to pick up. So, Oliver, you do that. You head over onto the inside line again, and I will catch up with Rosie and see what she's up to. OK, better get off then, Oliver. Let's do it. OK, Rosie, I think we will leave Henry's wagons, or box vans, in a siding for him to come and collect, so that should be fine. Just get yourself uncoupled from there. And just on the next siding, Rosie, I've noticed there's some ocean wagons, which I think Donald and Douglas could take to the factory. So let's go and pick those up. Ah, that's right, I'll have to hold this point shut. There we go. Couple to those then, Rosie. There we go, think she's got them. And out you come again. There we go. Just hold these points. Okay, let's go and see if Oliver's managed to pick up those green wagons then. Yep, I don't think he can be too far away, I can definitely hear him coming. So uh, let me get ready on the controller just to stop him when he appears. Yep, there he is. Alright Oliver, are you coupled? Yeah, he's coupled. Okay, head over to, uh, well head over back to Rosie really, and uh, we'll see if she's uh, nearly finished. Yes, she looks like she's very nearly there, so what I'm going to do is get a bit past these points. 
and then hopefully she'll be able to put these ocean wagons with the rest of the open wagons and then I think once Oliver arrives of course uh, Donald and Douglas will be able to take that train to the factory and also Henry will be ready to take his uh, small train of boxcars to uh, wherever he's got to go so there goes Rosie and Oliver isn't far off actually uh, yet he's coming into shot now where are you Oliver? There you are. So Oliver you head over the points and come and meet Rosie and Rosie will just couple those ocean wagons. Okay. Right I think that's it then Rosie. If you want to uncouple you can go and have a rest now if you like. Yep yeah, I reckon she'll want to go and have a sunbathe or something on the turntable. Okay let's swap this point. There you go then uh, Emily, I mean Rosie. Emily? I shouldn't call you that. Look at me getting them mixed up. Alright, choose one of the turntables roads then and you can go and have a rest on there. There we go, almost there. Turn yourself around a little way. There we go, and back yourself onto that little road there. Perfect. Okay, that's you done then Rosie, well done. Uh, let's catch up with Oliver and see where he's got to with those Poundsbury wagons. I know you're tired Oliver, just one last push. Let's get you through these points, get you back onto the uh, outside line. There we go, shut these points, and open these points, and then it's pretty much straight on, Oliver, so it should be easy for you, that should. Oh, there you go, look, I've even left the points open, so you can go straight through. Alright, there's the other end of the ocean train over there, so let's just stop. Okay, that should be Donald and Douglas's train sorted out. Let's get Oliver uncoupled. Okay, Oliver, well done. You can go and have a rest as well then. Let's go and stick you on the turntable. And you can enjoy some of this lovely sunshine that we've got up here t in the loft today. There he goes. There you go. Okay, Oliver, flip yourself around then. There you go, and you can go and uh, have a little bit of a rest there. Okay, nice. Let's get the tender engines off then and get them coupled to their trains. Okay, Henry, you're up first then to go and pick up your box vans. So let me just turn the bridge round to you. There we go. Hop on then. Old Henry. There we go. One second, Henry. Okay, you're free to go. All right, go pick them up then. Nice and steady you come over the point work, Henry. That's it, that's a good lad. Okay, switch the points back and send him backwards towards the sidings and I'll have to go and make sure all the points are set properly so that he doesn't derail there too. Oops, I think Henry's tender's come off. I think I jinxed it by mentioning derailing, didn't I? Right, just stick that back on then, Henry. There we go. Okay, carry on then. I'll tell you what, Henry, uh, I know it's not exactly the flying kipper, but we have been dealing with fish today. Uh, about five vans worth of fish fingers have been uh, transported today. Uh, I don't think we've coupled, Henry. Have you now? Okay, yes, you have. Oh, no, you haven't. Henry, I know it's not fish, but you've got to try. What is going on here? Right, let's... Uh, you would not believe it, would you? That is a real pain. I think Henry's coupling hook is stuck in the up position, actually. Uh, that's probably why. Right, that looks better. Okay, try again then, Henry. Sorry about that. Small technical hitch. There we go, that looks better. Okay then, Henry, take it steady. Hope you have a nice trip. And of course, I hope uh, your uh, customers like their delivery. Let's see him off then, shall we? Oh, well, there he goes. I'll see him in a week or so when he gets back. And hopefully he'll be okay on his trip. He shouldn't break down or anything. He's a pretty reliable. Okay, let's deal with Donald and Douglas then. And, uh, of course, they've got to make their delivery over here to the textiles factory. Okay, so there are the Scottish twins. And the turntable is all set for them. So they should be ready to go. I think, is it Donald at the back there? He looks like he's asleep. So I reckon Douglas is going to have to try and wake him up a little bit. Go on then, Douglas. Let's give you some power and see if we can't wake up Donald. Donald, wake up. You're going to have to try better than that, Donald. I mean, Douglas. I don't know who I'm talking to at the moment. Okay. Hello, Donald. There we go. He's awake. I don't know what all that was about. Okay, let's pick up the wagons then. 
So yeah, anyway, Donald Douglas, we've set up all of these wagons for you, and all you've got to, it's not really a very long journey to be honest, but we needed uh, a couple of strong engines to move all of these wagons. All you've got to do really is uh, take them to the factory. I don't know why the fat controller isn't telling you all this. Uh, I guess he is, in a way. Uh, let me fix this tender, because it's popped off. I reckon these tenders actually are a little bit too light. Uh, I need to put some more weight in them, uh, otherwise they're not going to stay on the track very well, are they? Stands to reason. Okay, so I think that looks good. Anyway, as I was saying, just drop them off at the factory, uh, the Scottish Twins, that is. Uh, and hopefully that will be enough for them, for their shipment. Okay, let's follow these guys then on their journey. As I say, it's not too far to go. So there they are, Donald and Douglas actually being very sensible today. They're keeping it at a, a nice steady pace, which is exactly what you want. So there they go with all their wagons, and we'll catch up with them now when they arrive at the factory. And then, of course, they've got to reverse into the factory siding, which should be fun. But I'm sure they'll do it because they're in a sensible mood today. So let's go do that now. This is it then, I'll just open the points, and of course it is quite difficult to back such a large train of wagons into a siding. Uh, it is a bit dangerous as well, but like I said, Donald and Douglas seem to be in a good, uh, sensible mood today. So, cross your fingers please everyone, this is the final move and then we'll be complete for the day. So, uh, let's do it now, here we go. Come on Donald and Douglas, don't let me down. So there we have it, it looks like uh, Douglas there is ready to leave, he's uh, disconnected from his tender somehow, but uh, never mind that, uh, it seems that the job is done, and in fact that is all of the work complete now on the railway, so as you can see the factory has got their wagons ready to load on their goods, which is perfect, the pub has got their shipment of fish, and of course their bread wagons have been taken away by Henry, Ari and Bert have got their scrap which is just perfect and of course finally all of the sidings are now nice and clear ready for some more shunting another day and Oliver and Rosie are looking very very tired over there but they've also done a really good day's work so thank you very much everybody for watching hope you enjoyed that if you did drop me a like and let me know in the comments because I do love it when you guys get in touch but for now thank you very much once again for watching and I will see you all very soon cheers everybody